All right, confession time. I wasted two whole years of my life learning to code, except I was not actually learning. I was just going in circles. And if you are anything like I was, buckle up because you might be making the exact same mistakes right now. For two years, I was trapped in an endless cycle of tutorial hell, blindly copying code without understanding it, grinding lead code like my life depended on it, and building side projects that were completely useless. And here is the worst part. I thought I was making progress. I told myself that as long as I kept putting in the hours, eventually I would get it. But you know what? I was not getting anywhere. I was like a hamster sprinting on a wheel, exhausted but stuck in the same place. And what did I have to show for it? Could I build a real world application from scratch? No. Could I debug my own code without running to Stack Overflow every 5 minutes? Not really. Could I get hired? Absolutely not. I was not becoming a developer, I was becoming a really efficient copy-paste machine. And if I ever ran into a problem that was not already solved in some tutorial, I was completely lost. It took me two whole years to realize that I was coding the wrong way. I thought more hours meant more skill, but in reality, I was just training myself to be a really bad developer. It's like going to the gym and doing a thousand push-ups every single day with terrible form. You don't get stronger, you just get really good at hurting yourself. And the worst part, you don't even realize it until someone points it out. I still remember the exact moment when I realized how bad things were. I had finished solving some ridiculous lead code medium hard problem I had been struggling with for hours. I felt like a genius. I was convinced I had cracked some next level algorithm. So I showed my code to a senior developer I knew, expecting some kind of impressed reaction. Instead, he took one look at my solution, then he looked at me and said, you are solving problems that don't exist. At first, I did not get it. What did he mean? Wasn't this exactly the kind of thing that interviewers asked? Wasn't this the kind of algorithmic mastery that companies wanted? But then it hit me. Outside of a coding interview, nobody cares if I can reverse a linked list in record time. Nobody cares if I can solve vague algorithm puzzles if I can't even build a basic CRUD app from scratch. In the real world, companies don't pay you to put memorized solutions, they pay you to solve real problems. That was my wake up call. I had spent two years training myself to be good at the wrong thing. Two years writing code that did not matter. Two years solving abstract problems while completely ignoring real world development. And that realization sucked. I felt like quitting. I felt like an idiot for wasting so much time. But instead of quitting, I did something else. I stopped coding. Not permanently, but I stopped the mindless grind. I stopped trying to brute force my way to improvement and instead, I took a step back to figure out what actually works. I realized that the best developers are not just coders, they are problem solvers. They don't just memorize syntax and algorithms. They know how to take an idea, break it down into manageable parts, google the hell out of their problems and build something real. They don't just watch tutorials, they struggle through projects, make mistakes and learn the hard way. And here is the biggest thing I learned. Real learning happens when you struggle. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself, peaks when you are uncomfortable. And that's why tutorials and lead code feel so satisfying. They are structured, they are predictable, they give you the illusion of progress, but it's fake progress. The real world is not multiple choice, there is no insert this algorithm here and move on. Real development is messy, it's frustrating, it forces you to think. So, I did a complete reset. No more tutorial binging, no more lead code marathons, no more mindless project building just for the sake of it. Instead, I started learning by doing. I forced myself to stop relying on tutorials. If I needed to build something, I would only watch a tutorial once, then close it and try to rebuild everything from scratch. No rewatching, no copy pasting. If I forgot something, good, that means my brain was actually working. I had to google it, struggle through it and figure it out the hard way because that's how you actually learn. I also stopped building useless projects, no more generic to-do list apps that no one would ever use. 
instead i pegged real problems that i personally had and tried to solve them with my code my downloads folder was always a mess so i wrote a script to automatically sort files by type i kept forgetting to drink water so i built a little notification system to remind me i knew someone needed a website for their small business so i built one for them and you know what those projects were not perfect they were ugly they were buggy but they actually mattered and because they mattered i actually learned something from them the final thing i did was start cringing at my old code and then fixing it because here is the thing if you are not embarrassed by the code you wrote 6 months ago you are not improving so i went back to my past projects took a deep breath and refactored the hell out of them i rewrote messy functions optimized bad logic and made things cleaner and more efficient and that's when i realized something huge this is what real developers do they don't memorize algorithms they don't just copy what they see in a tutorial they constantly refine their work make it better and improve over time and that's when things finally clicked that's when i finally started becoming a real developer and let me tell you once you break free from tutorial hell once you stop coding the wrong way once you start thinking like a problem solver instead of a student cramming for an exam everything changes you stop feeling like an imposter you stop getting stuck on simple problems you start actually building things you are proud of look i am not here to sugar coat things i can't give you a magic shortcut but i can give you 2 years of wasted effort so here is my challenge to you stop watching tutorials for a week pick one project today not tomorrow not next week today it does not matter if it's ugly it does not matter if you have no idea how to do it struggle through it swear at your screen google your way through every error message and when you are done look back in 6 months and i promise you won't believe how far you have come so stop watching me go code something real